Today we'll be looking at reflow config and specifically the settings section. We'll focus today on the hero section. The hero section is comprised of a title, a subtitle, a logo, and a hero background. We'll also quickly look at footer text and footer link. On the left, I can make changes. I'll just type in company name. And you'll notice on the right, the changes automatically are reflected. The right-hand side is a preview of your Niagara site. So just like title on subtitle, I can come in here and make changes. And they're reflected on the right automatically. If for some reason I want to get rid of or I don't have a subtitle, I can delete everything and Reflow will align the title to accommodate no subtitle. You can also change the logo. I'll click in here to the logo section. And you'll notice when I hover over the logo, I can see where the file's coming from. If I click, I'm presented with a few options. I can browse, I can remove the logo, or restore to default. I'm going to go ahead and click browse. And when I do that, you'll notice the station file system appears. So any files that I have on my station will appear here. I can go in and choose a logo. I'm just going to choose this one. And you can control the logo height on desktop and mobile. You'll notice as I'm making it larger and smaller, Reflow is adjusting. There's also an entry for logo height on mobile. This is because Reflow is fully responsive, meaning that it works on any screen size. To give you an idea of, of what that looks like across screen sizes, we have a responsive bar at the top. You can click on that and bring down a drawer. And then you can click on tablet portrait and see what that layout looks like and mobile portrait as well. And you can click again to change to mobile landscape and tablet landscape. We'll go back to mobile here and portrait and I'll just show you how you can control the logo there separately from the desktop logo height. All right, that's the logo. Moving on to the hero background. This section really gives you some design and, and makes your site look more modern. So I can select an image just like we did with the logo, similar controls, everything on my station loads. I can go in here and choose an image. You'll notice the dimensions on this are 1600 by 842 and Reflow will allow me to use that. If I go down to another image, Reflow warns me that this image is smaller than recommended. So the minimum recommended width is 1,200 pixels. So you'll want an image at least 1,200 by 500 pixels to use as your hero image. You can select a JPG, a GIF, or a PNG. I'm going to select this. So you'll notice that loads in there. Now my site's really starting to look nice. I can, there's a couple options here with this image. So I can control the background position. By default, it's loaded in center, but I can choose top if I'd like. It really just depends on your specific image. You can get in here and align it to the bottom if you'd like. Um, I think this one works okay in the center. So I'll keep it there. You can also control the hero background tint color by clicking on this color picker. I can choose a color up top and I can control the opacity of that down here. So for example, for this image, I'm gonna add a black tint just so that this title is more legible and my logo is a little more legible. So I think that looks nice. I'm gonna say okay. 
I can also control my hero title color as well. I'm going to go ahead and keep that white. And for some logos, they don't work well on hero backgrounds. And to deal with that, we have something called the navigation bar tint color. So you can add a tint color to the navigation bar. This same familiar controls. I can make this, you know, a solid color if I want. You can just kind of play around with that until you get the ideal look. That looks okay, but I'm just going to leave leave it off for this. So that's the hero background. Real quick here, I'm going to show you the footer. So at the bottom here, in the bottom right, you'll notice it says copyright 2020 Niagara Mods. You're able to change that if you'd like. So I'm going to come in here and write company name. And we have a couple keywords here, underscore year underscore and underscore copy underscore. The copy keyword will put a copyright symbol in here for you, and the year keyword puts in the current year. In the footer text, you also have a footer link, and you can direct that to any URL you'd like. Right now, uh, default is set to niagaramodules.com, so I can click that and load the niagaramodules.com website. I'll just go back here and reload my view. And I think that's it for the hero background. Again, um, explore around with different hero images. Um, use good photography and it can really make a big difference in the overall aesthetics of your site.